China has done it again. They've turned the tables and released a powerful new AI that's now a serious rival to Sora and VEO3. This one stands out for its incredible video quality, lightning fast generation speed, and most impressively, built-in lip sync while creating your videos. In today's video, I'll show you exactly how to use this AI completely free and without any limits. We'll also create a video with VEO3 and compare these two powerful AIs side by side. To start, we're going to build a custom character and then make our video using that same character. I'll also share a brand new prompt today. It's specifically designed for creating cinematic videos with VEO3 and it works amazingly well. So let's begin our workflow by creating our character in Whisk AI, Google's own creative AI platform. Here's the homepage of Whisk AI. I've already prepared my character prompt in advance, so let's dive right in. And I'll share all of these resources on my Telegram channel. The link is in the description, so you can easily download and use them for free. All right, now I'm going to paste my prompt here. Next, we'll choose the image size. I'm selecting 16 by nine because I want to create a YouTube style horizontal video. If you wanna make vertical videos for Instagram Reels or TikTok, just choose the nine by 16 format instead. Now I'll click this button and wait a few seconds while it generates two sample images for my character. I'll use one of these as my reference photo for the short film we're about to make. Okay, here we go. It created two images for me and I prefer this one. It fits perfectly with the vibe and location of my project. The character is holding a phone and a flashlight, which works great for the theme. So I'm going to download it. Next, I'll copy my first prompt from here. This new prompt looks a little different from the old one. It's what we call a JSON prompt. Now I'm going to replace the old prompt with this new one and paste it right here. On the left side, you'll see a small button. When I click it, a new section opens up. If I select Gmail, it brings me back to this screen again. At the very top, you'll see the field labeled subject. That's where you can upload your reference image. Now I'm going to click on upload image. You can also simply type your description in the prompt box above. Just describe the features you want and the AI will automatically create a reference image for you. In the second section, you can set the location or environment of your scene. If the background or setting is important for your project, you can either upload an image here or describe it in words, for example, a forest at night, a city street, or a cozy indoor room. And at the bottom section, you can define the style of your artwork. For example, you can type in Pixar style, anime style, or anything else you like. You can either describe it or upload another reference image to guide the AI. All right, now I'm clicking here to upload the reference image we just created. I've already placed my JSON style prompt in this section. Now I'll click this button and wait for the AI to generate my image. At this point, Whisk AI also uses some of its own creativity to enhance your result. But if you want it to follow your prompt exactly as written without adding any creative interpretation, make sure to lock the creativity option. Just close the little lock icon. All right, my image is ready. Everything looks great. Both images came out with very high quality and I'm going to choose this one. I'll download it, go back to the main page, and then copy my second prompt from here. All these prompts are also available on my Telegram channel, so you can easily copy and use them yourself. Now I'll paste the new prompt here. I'm not touching the reference image. We'll keep that the same. Everything is set up, so I'll click this button and wait for the AI to generate the next image. Perfect, the second image has just finished rendering. Take a look at both results. I think this one has fewer imperfections, though the other one is also quite good. Either one would work fine. I'll go ahead and download this final image, and now it's time to turn these stills into a full video. To do that, simply use the link in the description. It will take you straight to the WAN AI platform where we'll create our video next. This is the main page you'll see when you first open the platform. To get started, click on the Trio button and it will take you to this screen. Here, you'll need to sign up using your Gmail account. Once you've signed in, you'll see your profile icon appear and I'll show you exactly where in a moment. Now, let's talk about credits. When you check in, you'll automatically receive 10 free daily credits. Every day you can check in and claim 10 new credits to keep creating videos without limits. This is the homepage, and as you can see, the video quality is absolutely amazing. A little later, we'll also create a video using the Try Now option so you can see how different and powerful the results really are. Here you can also explore other users' projects. It's a great way to get inspiration and see what's possible for your own creations. 
Now, in this video, I'm going to skip the image section because I've already covered those tools in my previous tutorials. They're extremely powerful. Instead, let's jump straight into video generation and see the real quality this AI can deliver. So I'll click on the video Try Now button and it will open this next page. Now I'm going back to copy my first prompt again and then open the One AI platform. Pay close attention to this bottom section. This is where we'll enter our prompt. Next, I'm clicking on Add Image, then choosing Upload from Device. Here you can see the images we just created earlier. I'll select the first image and upload it. Make sure you wait until the image is fully uploaded before moving to the next step. Once that's done, I'll paste my prompt right here. Since we're making a video, I've also added a short text for my character to speak, so the AI will automatically generate the lip sync and voice based on that text. As you can see, I currently have 10 credits available. To create this video, I'll click the Generate button, and it will use up all 10 of them. My credits will go down to zero. But don't worry, I'll also show you how to create unlimited videos completely free, even without using any credits. We'll go through that in this video too. But there's also another method which I'll show you right after this first step, a way to use this AI completely unlimited without any restrictions. So it's totally up to you. You can either use this first method or go with the second one for unlimited access. As you can see, it takes around 30 seconds for the AI to generate our video. Right here, it shows the total time, about two minutes and 26 seconds, which is how long the full rendering process will take. Let's wait a moment for the video to finish processing. All right, our first video is now complete. It took around 30 seconds to generate and render the whole clip, which is super fast for this level of quality. And by the way, if you found this tutorial helpful so far and haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could give it a like and leave me a comment. It means a lot and really helps the channel grow. Thanks so much for your support. Hey everyone, today we're checking out the old Grand Central Freight Depot. People say it's been sealed for 50 years, but we found a way in. All right. To download your video, simply hover your mouse over these two buttons. You'll see two options appear, one for downloading without a watermark, which requires a premium account, and another one for downloading with a watermark. Click the Download with Watermark option, and your video will start downloading right away. Now, let's talk about the first method to use this AI completely free and unlimited. First, I'll log out of my current account. When I do that, this window appears. I'll click on the Login button, and then this page will open. Here you'll see another option called Sign Up. If you have multiple Gmail accounts, you can easily sign up with any of them. But if you want to create unlimited free accounts, click on Sign Up and follow these quick steps. You'll be asked for your name, email, password, and confirmation. For the email, we're going to use a temporary email address. You'll find the link to that site in the video description. Once you open that site, your temporary email will appear right here at the top. If you want a new one, just click the Generate button it instantly creates a fresh email address for you. You can make as many as you like. Now I'll copy this email, go back to the One AI page and paste it right here. Next, I'll enter my password and then re-enter it below to confirm. After that, click continue. As you can see, a verification code will be sent to your temporary email. Let's go back to that page, scroll down and click this button to open the inbox. Here's the verification code, just copy it from here and paste it back into the box on the One AI site. And that's it, super quick and easy. As you can see, my credits are currently at zero. So I'll click on the check in button to claim 10 free daily credits. You can repeat the step every day to keep getting your daily credits. Now I'll click on the video option again to open this page. Next, I'll copy my second prompt, which is written in JSON format. This type of prompt is much more precise, especially when working with VEO3 and it gives amazing results. Here I'm uploading my second image, the one we created earlier. Make sure you wait until the image is fully uploaded and then paste your prompt into the box below. The process works the same as before. When I click this button, it will use up all 10 credits again. That means we'll need to repeat the check-in process to get more credits, 10 at a time. But there's also another method which I'll show you shortly. Right now we're in the video mode and in this section you can see the image to video option. Below that, you'll find the AI model version. We're currently using WAN 2.5 of WAN AI. The next option here controls the video quality or resolution. By default, it's set to 720p, but you can also choose 480p or increase it to 1080p for full HD quality. 
Now watch what happens when I switch to 1080p. You'll see that my credits remain the same. Even though it shows I only have 10 credits available up here, no credits are actually being used for this process. Next, let's look at the duration setting. It's currently set to five seconds. I'll click here and change it to 10 seconds. So now we've increased both the video quality and the length from five seconds to 10 seconds. As you can see, my credits are still at zero, but I can still click generate and the video starts building without any problem. It's been successfully submitted and the AI has started creating the video completely without using any credits. So what just happened? In the first method, each video costs 10 credits and takes about three minutes to render. But with the second method, you can generate videos for free and unlimitedly. It just takes a bit longer, depending on the server traffic and AI load. The best part? Even if you turn off your computer or close the browser, nothing is lost. You can simply come back later, click on the assets section right here, and your video will still be there waiting for you. And the best part is, you don't even need to keep your device on while it's rendering. You can simply start the process, go do whatever you need, and when you come back, your video will be ready for download. So, while the AI is finishing that video, let's move on and create another one this time using VO3. To do that, I'm heading back to Whisk AI, and as always, you'll find all the links in the video description so you can easily access them with just one click. Now, I'm copying my third video prompt from here and pasting it into Whisk AI. From the images we generated earlier, I'm choosing one of the third set of shots for this new project. Our first video was 5 seconds long, the second one was 10 seconds, and now for our third video, I'll select this image. When you click on the Animate button, it takes you to this section. As you can see, I still have three video credits left, which means I can create three more videos. Now I'll go ahead and paste my prompt right here to get started. Now I'll click on this button and wait for the AI to generate our video. It took around two minutes to complete the process. Our video now includes lip syncing, and both WAN 2.5 and VO3 can automatically generate videos with lip sync, which is really impressive. Before showing you the final result, I'll first play the full screen version of both videos, one made with WAN 2.5 and the other with VO3, and then place them side by side in a single frame so you can clearly compare the quality. Honestly, I'd say WAN 2.5 is almost on par with VO3, if not better in some cases. And the best part is that it's completely free and unlimited to use. To keep this video from getting too long, I'll upload the full comparison separately. You'll find it linked in the description. In that video, you'll be able to see both results, including the watermarks from WAN 2.5 and VO3. And for those who've asked how I combine my clips, I'll also make a CapCut tutorial soon. It's the free app I use to easily merge all of these short clips together. That's how I put everything into one smooth final video. Hey everyone, today we're checking out the old Grand Central Freight Depot. People say it's been sealed for 50 years, but we found a way in. Wait a second. What is that? That doesn't look like it belongs here. Wow. 